Hey soul friends, soul fam, it's Marie and welcome into another reading for my Gemini family. I hope you are doing well and staying safe. Please do check your sun, moon rising and Venus signs if you would like more clarification. Remember the energies that can be reversed and keep in mind that this is a general reading so it may or may not resonate for you. But if it does, smash that thumbs up button, subscribe to our soul family and talk to me down in the comments because I love hearing from you and we are not strangers here. We are soul friends, soul fam. All right, Gemini, the overall energy for you this month is going to be focused on being present, okay? I create my reality, and today I choose to meditate, all right? This is your mantra this month, so whenever you feel yourself shifting a little too off-center, a little too off-path, repeat this to yourself. I create my reality, and today I choose to meditate, all right? Meditate to go into your inner sanctuary and tap into your personal power know your limits know how much you can give and know when to say no putting your needs first is not selfish it's essential do what feels good to you make choices that make you feel good Gemini, I really do feel like you're in this energy of taking care of yourself, being for yourself, and not, you know, feeling bad for doing so. And if you do, this is just not the month to do so, okay? This is not the month to feel bad about putting yourself first, all right? So the first, or, the first tarot card we have is the Hermit, which is representative of you going within and doing some soul searching, cleaning out that heart chakra, cleaning out that third eye chakra, and just meditating and realizing you know who you are and and what really makes you happy at the core of it and the only way to do that is to shut everything out shut everyone else out and tune into yourself okay tune into that universal energy all right allow the universe in to your life into your heart space and just trust that feeling trust that feeling that, that you have inside when you are connected and then act off of that, you know what I mean? Because when you are in tune with the universe and you allow it to take you where you need to go, it magical things happen, happen, blessings happen. And I do think that you're in this space this month of just allowing and trusting yourself to make those decisions and that next move for you that next right move for you I do think that you are in this state with the two of cups of really doing for you and doing the things that make you feel good with the people that make you feel good so if you do come out of this bubble right you do come out of this bubble sometime in September you've sat with yourself you've meditated when you felt off balance you've really tapped into your inner power the people that you connect with will be on your same soul level. That's the whole purpose of you going within, blocking everything out for even just a day or two days and connecting with source, connecting to your personal power so that when you go back out in the world, it's only to connect with those on your soul level and who are only going to fuel your soul power, all right? This month is not the month to be brooding, to be you know, regretting decisions that you made in the past or giving into drama or connecting with people that are not good for you and who are just there to take from you or manipulate you or deceive you. Okay, meditation, what it does is it makes you realize what's important to you, but it also clears out all of the things that you are not. You stop living in your ego. You stop feeling so much pain and you do, you are able to come out of that in a better place and you're able to be really honest with yourself and the things that you say and what you do they line up you're no longer a split person who says one thing one thing but does something different okay and you're just able to move a lot faster in that arena when you do meditate and tap into your inner strength okay but first and foremost comes rest it comes just going within and loving yourself first connecting to the universe first so that you don't wind up in awful situations and if you feel yourself going down paths where you're feeling a lot of hurt and heaviness on your heart and you feel like this isn't the place for me these people are not who I want to be around okay that's the time to cut it all off to go back within and sit with yourself and figure out where you want to go next and then repeat that cycle all over again if you start to feel yourself in that low space 
Okay, a lot of times we forget in order to remember, we forget what it's like, you know, to be in such a high vibration so that we can get there again. Sometimes we have to go low in order to remember what it's like to be high. And then we make changes within ourselves and within our lives to get back to that, to that elevated state of consciousness all right moving right into love of course you know i always do those pep talks at the beginning of the months for tarot <laughs> we are gonna dive right into love all right what is the overall love energy between you and the person that you are dealing with and or thinking about gemini is the overall love energy give me one card when you're ready the overall love energy between you and the person that you are dealing with and are thinking about give me one card when you're ready the judgment card and the strength card so you're dealing with someone who the overall energy is indecision almost like so like this is someone who's making a decision about you or you're making a decision about them and i feel like you're in this state and they're probably in this state too of trying to figure out okay do i want to pour into myself or do i want to pour into this relationship and this connection i do see that there's a lot of passion here but a decision is being made here at the same time all right let's dive a little bit deeper how do they feel towards you ace of swords so they're really conflicted this is probably their energy making a decision but feeling very strongly towards you right yeah this is someone who feels very conflicted when it comes to you but they do know that they feel very strongly towards you if there's one thing they did they do know it is that their feelings for you are very concrete they're very cemented and they possibly want to take this to the next level i feel like this might have been someone where you had a very passionate relationship with them right and they probably wanted more and it probably just didn't get there they probably just didn't get there i feel like there were blocks in communication blocks in emotions and they were not able to get to this state of security emotionally with you how do you feel towards them okay so you're kind of looking the other way Gemini and I feel like you might be torn between two different people this person and the other person so is this you making a decision whether or not you want to be with them leaving things up to fate that wheel of fortune again you are truly in this state right now of leaving things up to fate you feel strongly towards them though you do have passion towards this person and i feel like at one point you did feel like this person could be it for you with the wheel of fortune they feel very cut off they feel very blocked they feel a lot of conflict but they do feel very strongly for you if you're in a no contact situation why is there no communication all right so someone here possibly you you're nurturing yourself all right, hold on. Card fell out. All right, and then we have the Four of Cups. So did you get bored of the situation, Gemini? This could be vice versa, so take it how it resonates. But it looks like you got bored of the situation. This is why you're not talking to them, because you're like, mm, maybe I want to be about myself right now. Maybe I want to pour into myself, focus on myself, focus on my coins, nurture that instead of nurture this connection, which is probably why you're looking elsewhere. Why is there no communication from them? They have a lot of feelings for you, though. Why is there no communication from them? All right. So this is someone who... I feel like they're really unsure about what they're going to get. And I feel like this is also someone who, to be honest with you, might be more in love with the idea of who you could be versus who you are. I'm just going to put that out there. But this is someone who is looking at you online. They have their eye on you. So if you're not talking to them, they are spying on you. They're keeping up with you on social media. They're talking to their friends, your close friends. If you, anybody that knows you, they're trying to get information and they're trying to like, if find you on social media, look at your page, look at your feed, whatever 
they can do to keep up with you that is what they're doing and they're not in communication with you because I do feel like they might feel like either you have more options or because they have other options and they're trying to figure out is this worth pouring into I really don't think that because of how strongly they feel I really do believe that this is someone who has this idea in their head of where this could go and they're just a little bit torn between like just being okay with the fantasy and the like the image of it in their head versus the reality you know sometimes we like build people up in our heads and then we're like shit like if I actually get in a relationship with them it might ruin what I see and like it might ruin it it might ruin everything that I that I that I thought I wanted because it's no longer an illusion and it's 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 grounded and cemented in reality and I feel like this is someone who kind of did build you up in their head like they had this vision of this fairy tale ending with you and so the idea of even like communicating with you might shatter that illusion and so they might want to keep this entire list love they have for you a mystery and just completely all in their head instead of actually acting on it and bringing it into form in the real world what do they want all right like i said they are their guard is up right now right their guard is up and i feel like this is someone who's very overwhelmed they do want to celebrate you they do but their guard is up why the nine of why the nine of wands could be connecting with a fire sign we have air energy here virgo leo cancer scorpio this person is so torn. I feel like this is someone who does want to transform the situation into something beneficial to them. They feel strongly. Ten of Pentacles, that's the end all be all. You're looking away. They're in conflict mentally and emotionally, but they're looking at you online, viewing you as an option, possibly in love with the illusion of a relationship with you versus the reality of one you're still looking away you feel strongly but you're still looking away i feel like this person just has their guard up because they just don't know what to expect from you they want to celebrate you though they do and they do want to transform the situation what do you want knight of wands this i feel like this was a passionate romance that just like fell out really fast why the knight of wands why the Knight of Wands? Why do you want the Knight of Wands? Mm. You want a situation that's going to give to you. Whether or not it's this is your decision, but that's what you want. And I feel like if you were to get with this person, you'd be like, well, you're doing all the work. You know what I mean? Like you would force them to do all of the work. I feel like you want someone to kind of just like fight for you and work for you. That's what you would want from this person. What's stopping this person from moving forward? I mean, this connection. <laughs> okay, indecision. Someone looking elsewhere, literally looking elsewhere to start an adventure elsewhere. And I feel like that's you. That's you, Gemini. And then the temperance card. So a reconciliation. It's just, it's too many elements here. It's like you're, you're not on the same page. You're just not. And that's the problem is that this whole like, let me see if I can hold these up. But this energy of here, this energy of wanting to start over somewhere else, juggling between this, keeping this and that, and then a reconciliation you know, getting on common ground, pouring into this and then pouring into it. It's just, it's too, it's too many different energies. They're over here wanting to pour into this. You're both here not actually doing anything about it. And then you're over here, Gemini, which is like looking elsewhere like, hey, I want to start an adventure somewhere else. You both still have feelings, but you're both not really like speaking about it. Barriers are up. Feelings are here. And you're not on the same page. A, a conversation would need to be had here. Otherwise, just let it go. 
Like, honestly, sometimes some things are just better left, like, in your mind and in your memory. Let's look into new love really quick. For those of you dealing with new love, what can you tell me? New love for Gemini. Give me a card when you're ready. Ooh. All right. What is happening? Are you still tied to someone? I feel like, Gemini, you're still tied to someone in some capacity. And the only way that new love would come, one, it would be slow moving. But all this indecision, all this like not knowing whether or not I want to let this go, whether or not I want to hold on to it, that's what's keeping new love out. An ending has to happen. Like something has to has to be let go of. You kind of have to step into the present moment. You can't be constantly in this indecision if you want someone coming into your life. You know, Prince or Princess Charming. You can't be in that energy. You're going to have to cut some stuff off. Get rid of that internal conflict in order for that love, that common, that that love that is going to ground you that's on common ground with you to come into your life what's the most likely outcome between you and this person and this what's the most likely outcome all right nine of all right I see if it did, if it did, if you and this person did start things up again, I feel like it would be passionate for a minute. Like it, you guys would be really, really physically intimate with each other. It would be really, really hot and steamy. We have the star card on the bottom of the deck. Let me see if I can show you the star card. But at the end of the day, I do see heartbreak. You have this card again. You have the three and then the three. This could have been a love triangle situation. <sighs> I feel like this is just something better left in memory. Do they want to come forward? Yeah, they would. But I feel like, I feel like the illusion of it is better than the reality, than what the reality would be. I would just focus on kind of letting go so that you can manifest this new love. Because I do see like you could have two different people coming into your life. One slow moving and one much more, much faster. A water sign, earth sign, possible air. But with you and this person, heartbreak is inevitable in that arena. So I would definitely focus on new love here. Focus on letting go of old love. Like I said, with the Hermit card at the beginning, going within, clearing out that heart chakra, clearing things out, clearing it out so that you can make room for the new. All right, that's all I have for my Gemini family. Make sure to smash that thumbs up button and subscribe to our soul family if you haven't already. All right, thank you so, so much for watching. I love you. Stay safe, balanced, and healthy. And as always, I will see you in the next one. All right, bye-bye.